Hi there, friends, and welcome to episode 7 of the fourth season of Genetic Rim. I'm Icon, and today we will destroy a psychic amateur, and also I will enjoy the company of my new kick-ass thrombo hybrid, the first of many, I hope. So this is a boar thrombo hybrid, and I really like it. So we're going to train it, and then my army will absolutely will be absolutely unstoppable i'm sure about that so apart from that we are hunting a lot of meat so food wise the colony is quite good but i really gotta say those baskets are those baskets have an iffy configuration i need to change that somehow it all doesn't make sense and when, when people put the drugs and the goat juice into the baskets, enough is enough. Let's make the meat baskets only. This is easy to understand. There's not much confusion about that. Just meat baskets. The problem with these storage furnitures comes with the depth of the game. I really need to install the mod which allows me to transform all meat into meat because the game makes a big difference between meat, meat and meat but there's no gameplay difference between meat, meat and meat and this kind of like makes it completely unnecessary to begin with. So. Let's have a party! Brianna won't join the party. What up with my animal here? Went into a fight. Okay. So, I gotta check that my animals here aren't breeding too fast. What's looking good so far? Okay. So I really hope that advanced fabrication will be acquired soon. I want those mechanoid interface chips, but today is party day. I respect that. There has to be time for party. I don't know why people don't mop the floor before they party, but sure, we can also party on the puke. Yeah, you know, party hard on the rim. That's how we do it. Although, gotta say, it was one of the lamest parties ever. They didn't even do drugs, so... Tending to my animals is something which I... Is some process I, I don't want to interfere with that. So, there's a insane stockpile of Nutramines here now. Hey, Diplo Beetle! Okay. So we're we're definitely gonna go for the next dino insectoid. I just wanted to be sure that my combo was the correct one. So you beautiful little thing, have some H pills. I love that stuff. These H pills are one of my favorites. Okay, the hive demands Levin. Let's show the hive what we think about that. <laughs> okay. Kaboom, kaboom. Let's go. Let's see if I even have to unmount. Only I'll only unmount if I really have to. So... Ooh, here goes the chain shotgun. I really love to have one person up front with the chain shotgun. Just coming in the, into action when the first enemy breaches the closer vicinity. Just so good. So much impact from that single decision. Okay. Although, I gotta say, the chain shotgun is only king for close quarters, so... 
Diplo Beetle. Mature Diplo Beetle. 26 damage. <sighs> and they even produce food. Awesome. So let's hope I'll receive a female specimen too. Here we go. I'm pretty sure that something bad is ought to happen. A mad whatever animal. Andrew Zarkus. I didn't even know such a thing existed. So. Best thing about this scenario here is we do have everybody on mounts, so wow, what a tough critter. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? This thing tore his neck off in one bite. Okay, that one came unexpected. I really thought we would at least be just tanking one blow and everything would be fine. <laughs> okay. Poor Levin. Gotta say. Gonna miss you. That one came really unexpected. And even that Velocity Wolf. No, that was some squirrel. <laughs> okay. Oh, we received a Psychic Emanator, six advanced components, and some steel. So at least there's some reward for my efforts. But I also understand out of this situation another thing. My own critters hit like that too. <laughs> So we're gonna bring we're we're gonna bring Levin. That's the least I can do. Poor guy. You know. So Yeah. Just checking if there's Ah here. Almost skipped out on the good stuff. Alright. Yeah, they they didn't even think about that. So sorry, Levin. You're you're gonna be left here. You know, Johnny's a psycho after all. I gotta roleplay my main character probably. <laughs> Johnny would value the steel over Levin's corpse for sure. Don't tell me anything uh, else. This guy lived off of rattlesnakes all the way from down here, somewhere here, to here during a global warming period. He made it all alone from there. I don't think Johnny would prefer a body over steel if there's a steel shortage at home. Just my <laughs> few thoughts about this decision. Spino Bear has been lost. When? How? Why? Oh. It's caravan menu. It's a uh, the It's a foolproof way for me to destroy my resources. I only need to go for a few caravans. That's all I got to do. I'm pretty sure that it, ha it is interconnected with me putting Levin onto that animal, and I think it got unchecked. I, I think the simple truth is the check mark on the animal on the animal wasn't there anymore. I'm pretty sure that's what happened, and I didn't notice it. Too bad. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's also some way of reducing your of it reducing your livestock. A mechanoid cluster. Hello there, beautiful. What up with you? Smoke spewer, mech assembler, interface cell, 
I'm pretty sure I will acquire my mechanoid interface thingy and some more of those. This is a very, very harmless cluster. It's pretty understandable too, because I mean, I have deducted most of my wealth out of that. Well, well not, not most, but a lot, you know? Those, that caravan, caravan was worth 30k. That's something. So now we're gonna wait until this caravan comes back home and Man, I lost 11 just like that. Ooh. I feel so bad about it. Whenever that happens, I'm like, man, why didn't I kite properly? Why was I that lazy and was like, come on, we can face tank that for one blow. <sighs> well, well. That's what I love about this game. Okay, now then. How much time do these guys need? 0.6 days. Nice. Countdown activator in 7 days. So, a big problem here is I'm, I haven't assigned any zones for those critters. I really want to wait until until they are back home. Yeah, well, I hope nobody will kill himself during half a day. Let's keep an eye out on this side of the map. And Chirpy so far is doing a good is doing good things actually. Oh, look at them! Today is a good day. Cassandra delivers to me mechanoid genes and thrombo genes. Beautiful. Okay. Also quite dangerous, but well, we we got to deal with that somehow. What? <laughs> the turkey ain't impressed. <laughs> My dino chickens are quite, quite the killers. Suicidal dino chickens. Sounds like a good title for this episode. You guys didn't clean up the puke here. And then you wonder about food poisoning and such. Jeez. Savages. <laughs> Two units of dinosaur skin. <laughs> the dino chickens are really uh, a fun a fun sport it seems to me like we really must take care that they receive their age pills or I'll just accept that they'll die at some point that's entirely up to me I guess now thrombos I'd love to go for the Thrombos first. Gigantelope Revenge. What <laughs> are those crazy critters? <laughs> Come on. I'm I'm so happy that I went with my wife's idea to to breed those. They are such crazy useless animals. I really would have uh, missed something. They're quite a special breed. So my 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 dino chicken seriously triggered a herd revenge on those gigantelopes. <laughs> it tried to solo an, an entire herd of gigantelopes. After its babies tried and suicided. Almost suicided, 50% of them suicided against the local fauna. I don't think my new creation is stable. <laughs> but fun. Fun for sure. Also bringing me meat. That's why I love those turret stations here. I'm quite confident, or not confident, I'm, I'm quite happy with the 
raw blueprint of this whole defense here. Haven't fully made up my mind yet if I'm if I want to go for a, a layout like this or a layout like that. But I think I'm going to I'm going to run with that zigzag pattern. <laughs> okay. You're good again? You're good again. So what up with that fella? Still wriggling. Quite surprised that this monster is still alive. So because I do care about my monsters, we're gonna tend to that crazy critter. And tomorrow we're gonna hunt some thrombos. There we go. Come on, Chirpy. Don't be like that. I know I I rattled you up at 1 a.m., but still, at least carry it home, you know. Oh, great. We got another food poisoning. Okay, now. Gotta, I'm gonna take out Kazmund and Chirpy out of this fight because they just they already went through a night shift I don't want to overstress them let's see how hard it will be to take down one thrombo I mean I got my army on me so it won't be that horrible it's a singular revenge that's good So why are my animals sleeping on that like this? That's that's strange. It's really strange. Shouldn't have happened. Thing taken down. My wolf fellow just like that. All right. So, quite scary, gotta say, quite scary. But I'll take another. It's super important that we uh, go into those guys carefully. So, Velocity Wolf ain't better. Jeez. Unstable creations. <laughs> okay. So this time I'm smarter. This time we're we're gonna be retreating until the animals have docked into the combat. All right, let's check it out. Brianna is being tended good. There we go. And let's go for number three. I hope my army will last. Could imagine that some of my critters will die here, but I don't mind. I mean, this is just opening up room for replacements and new critters. Whatever dies now only makes room for new for new thrombo-based specimen. Okay, Lawman is ravenously hungry, and therefore he's angry, very angry. Okay, so. Johnny, finish off the thrumbo. So, are you guys telling me that Lawman is just destroying one of the thrumbo corpses? Wow, that's that, that's really brutal. But I let him. I don't care, honestly. At this point, it's sad to lose one, but. I don't want to be too 
too uh, crazy about that. Yep. He really had to do that. <laughs> so, so, so I, I actually did let him do that because it's one of the craziest tantrums I've ever seen. He was so angry about this whole about being hungry during this whole thrombo hunt that he had to destroy one of those darned thrombos. For the sake of the story, I couldn't stop this man. <laughs> I hope you guys understand my my strange decisions here. Um, oh, this one though I'm really sad about. Okay, whatever. I'm not that. I'm not that strict here, mainly because a thrumble horn is really cool. I don't need that many uh, different hybrids. I want to experiment with mechanoids too. I mean, this list is already pretty long, so I don't care. That I only got one genome here. It's perfectly fine for me. So, let's see. The Raptortus is tended. Now. We only have to take care about the cluster, but I guess, well, yeah, we're, we're gonna do that today as well. What's wrong, Kazmund? Oh, you're hungry. And he got food poisoning, I see. Okay, so the... Mechanoid cluster. Well, no, we're gonna do that tomorrow. Gotta chill. Gotta let everybody chill down here. Wow, that was one of the most inefficient thrombo hunts I've ever did in my life. Gotta say. Gotta respect the inefficiency here. But that's that's just fine. Alrighty. So the the <clears throat> traps here have been refreshed. They are ready for the mix. Here I'm going to loop it like that a little bit more. It sounds like a good thing. It looks really like really tempting, whereas here the zigzag pattern comes way more naturally. So, research-wise, I didn't do a step ahead, basically. Oh dear. So, what was that quest now? Ah, there's an incapacitated guy there. Tempted. I could use more people. Hmm. Or, I just could keep recruiting people from the hospitality. Quinkana megafauna. I was hoping for a, another dinosaur, but no. Another megafauna. Yeah, the meat basket configuration really does a good job here. Oh yeah, the psychic emanator. These are just awesome, you know. Oh, look at that. What a nice radius. Beautiful. So, this seems good, yeah. Even influences people at the medical station, too. Alright, so guys, it's time to, cl uh, to crack down that cluster here. It's a mini cluster, so we gotta be, we're, we're gonna be fine. So... Everybody needs to be fed. I don't want to have any destroyed mechanoid corpses because of people being hungry this time. You hear me, lawman? Good. 
All right, let's let's mend the mortars and let's have some fun. TJ and Chirpy, or well, yeah, let's take it again. Let's see. I love mortars. Seriously, I love that sound when they fire. Such a satisfying noise when that shell launches. Hmm. Alright. So here comes the fight. Oh yeah, that's quite an army we have against us there. And they seem to have an intent on swarming us, so let's let's move in. I'd say I'll go here. Hiding behind those turrets because I want the mechanoids to go for my turrets first. They were trying to take down my hauler bot. I... I know it. <laughs> I simply know it. So here comes the... the real part of the fight. So let's see how do I want to tackle this. The Goliath comes with a Inferno Cannon, but I think none of them will be firing at my fellas. So let's release the animals and see where, where this will lead us. The good news about this fight is the Inferno Cannon is way less effective during a rainy day. So I'd say we should be quite fine here. So I'm going to manually handle TJ a little bit here to make his chain shotgun a little bit more effective. So the wolfalos are just dying. Not too surprised about that one, honestly. Alright, using TJ's chain shotgun here to take down the stronger backliners, or I try to. <laughs> Come on, TJ. <laughs> I trusted you. <laughs> what up, man? Shooting seven. Okay. That's why I love animals. They just get the job done. <laughs> no further comment. Okay. I still love you guys. Don't you worry. Especially you, TJ. So we've lost a Wolfalo. Wolfalos are just not too strong. I knew that. But I also like to have some some animals I can send in to, to swarm my enemies. Always a good a good thing to have that. So this, those rap tortoises are quite often downed and dying. Okay, so we got this. Now all we would need to take down is one friggin slugger turret. <laughs> we should be able to do that. And I will acquire one unstable power cell. Awesome! I love those. They are so friggin useful for many different things. But mostly I do like them for deep mining drills. Because you can just plug in a unstable power cell right next to the unstable power cell. And you're you're done. That's all you need to do. Then the then you can do your deep mining drill project wherever you want. I like that. I mean sure when a metric power cells work the same, but so All right. Great. 
lawman having a beer. It was completely dumb, I think, to send my animals in like that. But I keep saying, telling myself, a wounded animal, they don't have any particular job to fulfill. A wounded colonist, though, is a lot slower and, well, that does... That does slow me down. Here we go. Lawman at his best. Well. We can? Interesting. Wait a sec. This, this ain't over yet. That's why. So, Lawman, you have to destroy the assembler too. The mechanoids are still there. Now we got it. And now I can deconstruct the parts I'd like to have. So... These cells amplify the psychic abilities of mechanoid machines, allowing them to affect both minds of people and animals. So I... I don't know if I want to keep that. So we claim that and we reinstall that for now here because it looks fancy there. And then, well, we're gonna keep it for now. Because I have no clue if I would regret to deconstruct it now, you know. But there's also a decent chance that this interface cell contains the part I would need to create mechanoid um, hybrids. Good. Pro uh, there's a good chance that this is the case. Okay, friends, so this... Uh, this was the episode with the crazy dino chickens. <laughs> okay. Well, we we did a good job there. And there are some thrombo genes for the next episode. I'm looking forward to those. And yeah, leave a comment down below. Leave a like, leave a subscribe as usual. I love to hear from you guys and I would be happy about your support. But most importantly, I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.